In this chapter, we're going to start adding some gameplay and interactivity to our project, and in doing that, we'll be using Blueprints, which is Unreal Engine's visual scripting language, and in my opinion, one of its most powerful features. So what exactly are Blueprints? Well, in simple terms, Blueprints are a visual scripting system within Unreal Engine that allow you to create gameplay, mechanics, interactions, and behaviors without writing a single line of code. Think of them as a way to design the logic and functionality of your game using a node-based interface, making game development accessible to both artists and programmers. Blueprints work by connecting nodes together to define the flow of logic in your game. Each node represents a specific action, event, or condition, and you can link them together to create complex behaviors. Think of it like putting together pieces of a puzzle to bring your game to life. Blueprints can be used for almost anything in your game, from controlling character movement and animation, to creating interactive objects, implementing AI behaviors, designing user interfaces, and even managing game progression and saving systems. The possibilities with this system are virtually endless. So let's open up a Blueprint so I can give you a little tour of the Blueprint Editor. So we're going to take a look at the third person Blueprint because we're going to be using this as we go through this chapter anyway. So in order to find that, we're just going to go into our content folder so you can see I've just opened my level so I'm going to go here. There is already a third person folder which was created when we started with the template earlier in the exercise. So if we go into there, there's a blueprints folder in there and then this here is the third person character blueprint and it's got a BP at the beginning that sort of denotes that that's what it is. So let's just open that up. Okay here it is. I'm just going to dock it alongside here so that I can see everything that I want to see. And then we'll talk about all the bits and bobs in here. So up here at the top, you've got the menu bar, which is specific to whichever window or tab you have open. Next, we have the toolbar, which has a range of commonly used features such as save, compile, class settings, class defaults, and your play controls as well. This window here in the top left is components, and it lists all of the individual components which make up your blueprint. In this case, we have a capsule component, we have an arrow component, a mesh, and also a camera boom and a follow camera. And then just below that, you've also got the character movement, which we can use to edit the character movement. Down below all that, we have the My Blueprint window. This includes a tree list of all the graphs, scripts, functions, macros, and variables. It's basically an outline of the blueprint where you can see all of the existing elements of it and also create new ones. This big area here in the middle is the graph editor and this is really the heart of the blueprint system. This is where you create and organize the networks of nodes that will make up the logic of your games. So here you can see the logic for the jump and we've got a few nodes here so we've got an enhanced input action so this is when the jump action is triggered it will do one of two things so when you trigger it, it will begin the jump event and when it's completed it will do the stop jumping event. This is quite a simple one just to get an idea of how these are built. You can also go up the top of this area here and go to the viewport and this displays all of the different components in a little 3D space, a little viewport so you can see everything there. So we've got our mesh, the capsule, we've got the camera and uh, the camera boom is not visible until we select it but that's there as well. Finally, over here on the right, you have the details panel, which will display and allow you to change properties for anything that you've got selected. And that concludes our quick whistle stop tour of the Blueprint Editor window. You're going to be creating a blueprint of your very own in the next step. We're going to start by making a door that can open in the level. So hopefully I will see you in the next step where we can get blueprinting. So I'll see you there. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. If you'd like to help me create more content like this, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The contributions I get through Patreon make a huge difference in keeping this channel going. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to make sure you don't miss my upcoming tutorials. Your support and engagement mean the world to me and help my channel continue to grow. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.